Salutations, my joyful peers. I hope you've been enjoying Christmas, because I'm about to ruin it for you if you don't believe in God. You're fine, but for you fruitful Christians, get your pitchforks and torches ready. I need to sleep in the giggity freezer tonight, because you're about to burn me at the stake in the morning, because everything you think you know about Christmas is a lie. Giggity barnacles straight from Satan himself. The early church never celebrated Christmas. In fact, they didn't even celebrate the birthday of Jesus to begin with. But Mithra, the pagan sun god, was born on December 25th, on which pagans would celebrate a festival to keep the dying sun alive, which also contradicts science. Pagans even put evergreen branches in their houses as a form of dark magic to keep plants alive in the wintertime as pagans realized over time that they worship false gods. They converted to Christianity. But the early church had been shut down by this point. If you wanted to learn the gospel, the Roman Catholic Church was the closest you could get. They took Mithra, the pagan's god, and put Jesus' name over it and call it a Christian holiday. God's way wasn't God enough, so they came up with a better way as the Tower of Babel, and Exodus chapter 32 teaches you cannot make your own way into heaven. And if you know anything about the Roman Catholic Church, a Christian celebrating Christmas is no different than a Jew celebrating the Holocaust. So, are you a seeker of truth or a defender of your opinions? Do you glory and pump yourself up in the name of Christ? Or do you monetize it the Lord's name? It literally celebrates the birth of a different God, which will put a heavenly bounty on your head. So, if you love me with all your heart and soul, you will obey what I command, saith the Lord. So yeah, you cannot wake up. If you don't go to sleep, see ya.